Yeah. Me and Wayne, we're not talking as of right now. We're not in good places. That. We're not none of that because you have to be one way with me. You get what I'm saying? You can do your little slick shit and stuff like that and I understand it or whatever, but sooner or later, I'm just not going to want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of shit that was being said, sadly, was true. Before we get into Wayne, let's get into a, a happier I, place. Let's, let's... I don't get into Wayne and I'm I'm off of Wayne. <laughs> We don't, we ain't got to get back into Wayne, you know? Okay. I, I just said it, you know? It, it's like, we're working out. I told you, I quit the show. I left when they said that. Season six. Be, season three. I mean, season three. I quit the show. Mm -hmm. You know, loyalty, I stayed down. Season six, shit, I quit the show. You still on the show? You still doing all this shit? You disrespected me to a point of no return, and I'm the reason you made it this far. What happened with y'all season six? What happened? We just fell apart. I, I just saw a side. We heard, of, a, we heard about a fight. We yeah, heard about all of that. I, I, it just, with Wayne, it, it, I, I've stayed down and I, I sacrificed a lot. You know, it, it's like what you brought to this show this season was very disrespectful. So what I like to drink or whatever. It had to come out your mouth though every time you came out there. I'm not talking about your personal shit. You know what I mean? Because everybody got their own shit, you know? But as a friend, why would I bring that to the show? I know everything about your relationships and everything. I didn't bring that shit there. Because I'm your friend. Why would I do that? You know, you're going to call me out my name, everything on the show, whatever. But I'm supposed to be cool with everything after the show. No, we have problems. I'm questioning now, oh, were we ever friends? What was this? Was this cloud chase like everybody said? What, 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 what is this that's going on? Because if this is you, there's some shit we could have did in the beginning. We didn't have to wait until the show came and it get like this. Yeah, true enough, we knew we was crashing and shit like that or whatever. But it ain't what you do, it's how you do it. And the part that I don't like with Wayne, and I love Wayne, and that's my friend, and I hope we can fix this. But as of right now, we're not talking and like that or whatever. It's because the, the only problem that I have with Wayne is I'm a lot of things or whatever. But one thing about me, I'm a bitch that can own up and stand up to my shit. Wayne don't know how to take accountability. And that's why we're here. And I'm done with it. Is it clearly it's for the better? It, it, it has to be for the better. When you showed me the words, there's no way you were supposed to ever get on TV and disrespect me like that. When I quit the show, because they didn't want your ass on there. But I keep you on the show with me just so you can disrespect me on the last season. I don't think that was a twist or turn any. I don't think the audience expected it. No, but I mean, but I real. like I, fuck that. Like, no, I didn't. You, so much shit it, it, that happened. It's like, first of all, I got an album with Wayne. Karma bring the pain. I did a whole album with you, dude. Like, what the fuck? So I was never jealous about you doing music or doing your own thing and shit like that. What people didn't understand is that I was using my money. See, I sponsored T.S. or Kendra. You get what I'm saying? But it came to a point. Now, mind you, I ain't saying too much, but I'm saying enough. Now, don't forget now, I got locked up. So some of my ways and the shit that I was doing, I had to change it. So that money was not there anymore. But the money is there for you, though. And you think about yourself, though. You didn't, uh, it, it's like, damn, I'm your artist or whatever. I went viral with Walking Like a Dog. I didn't, I'm, I'm trying to do the music video. I'm trying to figure out where, so I could do the music video. I don't want it viral. But you turn around and come up with the money, though, and you do your video. And didn't even invite me to it. But you're in all my videos. Sorry, y'all. I had to do it. Wayne, it's not off limits either. See, that's what people don't understand. When it comes to me, nobody's off limits. When 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 I'm going in, I'm 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 gonna keep it real. And Wayne already know we talked about it. You know what I mean? It, it's like no, that's why no, you you rubbing me the wrong way now because this this is starting to look like some P Diddy shit. And I'm Lil Kim. Lil Kim cut him off. I might have to cut you off. I do I I do want I do want to ask this question. So the money that you had then. Mm -hmm. I paid for my own music videos. I sponsored you 
you my paid, own shit. You paid for y'all's videos. Yeah, I mean, it was my videos, but he was in it, you know? Well, like the and album? Like the album. I, the only video I did off the album was Chasing Atlanta, the song. And I think he paid his part for that. But the point that I'm trying to make is that I was my own sponsor. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you were so inviting him like, on. But for you to get up here and say, oh, so fucking what? I didn't know how to, I don't know how to work Instagram and shit like that. You know, I'm real about my shit. But damn, that's the least you could do. But you don't went up here and, oh, but she don't know how to work her pace. Like, I'm not working and I'm not doing this. It's a lot of things that brought me wrong with him this year. Because when have I stopped working? I get tired too. I need a break. The music is up. The money is fun. You know what I mean? I, I went all in. When are you going to start working though? For me. You get what I'm saying? Besides Instagram and shit, when are you going to start finding this fucking money? Like, what the fuck? I don't have it this year. Okay, I didn't have it this year, but all them other years I had it, but this year I don't have it. And now you find it, but you find it for yourself. And you're talking about when he started doing his own kids. Yeah, own and I had no problem with that. But at the time when you started doing your own videos and shit, you know, guess who was hot? Me. I'm your artist. You're supposed to keep me fresh right then. You know what I mean? If I couldn't do it, you were supposed to bag me up. But you took it upon yourself to do your thing. But it's like you slid in at the wrong time. Did you it, it's like you got in my way. Like, damn. Like, shit. Anything that I ever did, I always did it for us. Did you and Wayne have a, an agreement, a written agreement? Uh, we, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, and because we were friends, you know, it, it's sad to say that the show tore down our friendship. It, it did, the show did this to us. And, and that's the honest God true. You know, that, that was, I love Wayne. I still love Wayne, but you, you got to figure it out. You know, like some people went. When you're a bad friend, you're just a bad friend, you know? And, mm -hmm. hey, you could be a good friend, but in order to do that, you got to take accountability and talk about it. I love him. I always will. And this ain't me throwing him under the bus or whatever. This is just me. If we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. You know what I mean? And, shit, he did a lot. Season 6, that made me look at him the wrong way. And I don't know if we can fix it. But if there's a way that we can, I'm willing to try. I love to hear that. And I, I know how much you love Wayne. Yeah, like, yeah. that was my friend. I would never, like... Tell me this. It still is. How? You know, I still love Wayne. But it, it's just like... It, disrespect sometimes hits differently. And, and you know what? I, I've learned that, you know, a lot of things I didn't back myself up. And, you know, it's like, yeah, true enough. Yeah, I knew it, it, it was time. Like, damn, like... How did you meet Wayne? Me and Wayne was friends. I met him through another friend or whatever. And he was just like, damn. He just heard I could rap and I just started rapping. He was like, oh shit. We actually first went and started looking for a manager first. But, you know, he was like, oh shit, well, I'm going to do it. But we'll, we'll. we started out playing with this shit, not knowing how serious it was going to get. Mm -hmm. So I can't just throw everything on him. You know what I mean? It falls on us. But my thing is, shit, when, when somebody... When you're in the light and and the match start going, you have to focus on that. It's very, it's just like the times when you step away and went to doing your thing. That, that, that was I had done went viral three times. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, so let me ask you this. So when you and Wayne met, y'all met as like two artists. We met as two people. Two people. And he found out I was an artist, and you know I knew he did music or whatever, but it wasn't. Like that, you know, it's, it's like, but damn, okay, you do music or whatever, you write music, whatever. So we started dealing with each other so, like that. That's why I did the album with him because I knew you did music when you decided to be my manager. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's like... Okay, so so y'all were doing music together and then y'all were looking for management together. I was looking for management. You was looking for, for management. Me. And then he then said, I'll manage he you. He said, yeah. And, and it's like... Cool, and it started from there or whatever, and then shit just started happening. Like, shit was just moving so quick. I'm talking about, I'm going out to clubs to this day. When I go out, half the time, I can't even make it to my seat, mm -hmm. you know? So much shit was happening. I'm on tour in, in Florida. You know, we got to it the first time in Florida. I saw a side of him that just... It was just like... We heard about Florida. Do you, like, do you I, want to talk about Florida? I mean, I just... He just... I don't know. I, if I'm the headline and we down here and 
shit like that. We're not on vacation. So I'm gonna, it, it was just terrible. And that was my first time just seeing that. And it, it was just like, like a lot of little shit. It was like, oh, you don't want to take pictures anymore. You don't want to do this anymore. Now you're on vacation. Now we're not working. Now you get what I'm saying? And it's just like, what the fuck is we doing here? As an artist, I'm under a lot of pressure right now. Were, you know, and were you paying him? Yeah, I looked out for Wayne. Yeah, I looked out for Wayne. I was good to Wayne. I hope like, y'all can fix it. I, I hope we can too. In other ways, I don't you know, know if he needs to be your manager. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I feel like it's it's a wrap. You know, that's why I'm I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the friendship because I know the business part is over. Yeah, if we were ever friends, yeah. we gotta focus on that, and that's what I want him to understand. You know, it's not about Lil Kendra and all this shit anymore. It is. If we're gonna figure it out, we're gonna figure it out, but. We're going to do this shit the right way now. Yeah. You know, I learned a lot off of it. You know, I put a lot of trust and a lot of shit in Wayne's hands. And to tell you the truth, it, it's, it's kind of difficult for me to get shit back. And it's like, damn, you sit up here and you say, well, I don't know how to work Instagram and all this shit. Here I am trying to do it myself. You won't get me to log in to the YouTube channel, none of that. So it's like you making it to where I have to keep coming to you. You, you don't have access like, to your Instagram right now? I got to my Instagram, but I'm talking about the page where my music videos go up and shit. And it, it's like, dude, like, if we gonna do this, let's it, we gonna do this one or two ways. What? There's nothing else to hold on to. If we gonna let it go, let's let it go. And that's the truth. I've been going through a lot with Wayne. And I'm telling you, the shit that I've seen, it, it, it really, it hurts. But at the same time, I swear to God, I had no idea what I was dealing with. And that's the honest guy truth. So it is what it is. I'm at a point now where shit, fuck it. it keep it. And you know, like, damn, just fuck it. Keep it. You know, shit. You I'm tired. Fight. Like, I don't have time. Like... Somewhere, you create, Lil' Kendra was already created way before Chasing Atlanta, way before Wayne, way before any of this. You know, we, we got here or whatever, and I guess you feel like, I don't know what you feel like, but let's, okay. I'm tired of it. Okay, okay. But I love them, and I hope we can fix it. I but, do, I want to take one, one little beat, and I'll, let's talk about Chasing the Beat. You got, can we? <laughs> okay. Chasing the Beat season five, right? What happened? Mm. Oh, God. <sighs> whatever you feel comfortable. Okay, well. Whatever you feel comfortable. No, this is the truth. This is what happened. So, I get a time or whatever. I'm supposed to arrive. Whatever. Boom. I go get my makeup done and stuff, whatever. Uh, clearly, the time that I got wasn't the time. And that time came from Wayne, you know? So, we get here, whatever. But me pulling up, I'm talking to Adario, though. In the car, he was like, where you at? You finna up outside? outside. He's like, okay, well, we ready for you. Boom, I come in, get ready and everything right there. You knew I was pulling up around that time. It, it was a lot of shit. It be those those moments right there that really just, and now it's like, oh, you supposed to be here at this time and woo, woo. And now I'm looking through the emails and all that shit or whatever. Because, you know, I didn't even really get the emails. If you want to know the truth, shit, why ain't got the emails? I never got the emails. All while I was on the show, the emails went to him. So if I had to film or something, he would be the one to tell me, you know, this day and woo woo. You talking about your that, book, your the, book and huffing that that email? That, the that, one, the, the one email, I still use. Yeah, the emails went to management. You know, you never looked when at it was them. time for me to film and shit. He would tell me what was what. He would show me or whatever, but. Hey, you know, and I would go off the time and I would make sure that I did everything that I was supposed to do to get there, you know? And it's like, so I get here and now it's, oh, you're supposed to be here, woo, woo. And I'm like, wait a minute. That. So, so now it looks like. It's your fault. No, it, it looks like it's my fault, but it also looked like it's some shady shit some going shady on shit going and a Dario, and it, it just looked like it looked like it's some fucked up shit going on. Now here we go again. That's what's going through my mind. Here we go again. I know damn well that I that, like 
I went the fuck. But, and now I'm here, I'm dressed. I don't pay for a makeup artist. I don't do all this shit. I'm here, I'm ready to perform and, oh, we're not gonna be able to do it. And I've been here for hours, for a few hours. And it's just like, okay. So, if we weren't gonna do it, that should have been said as soon as I arrived. You know, and, and I had my fashion designer with me. It to bag me up. You know what I mean? We I don't know about you being there for a few but, hours now. No, I was there for a few hours. I don't know about a few hours. You, baby. I was there. Uh, baby, how long was we there? I don't know about no few hours. I need you to come in now. I don't know about no few how, hours. How long, what time did we get there? It was like 10. What time did we leave? Like 12 one. 12-1. That's well, a few well, hours. The shoot was over at 11. Yeah, the we shoot didn't was leave over until one. Yeah, we probably it was didn't, twelve. No, I know we probably didn't leave until one, but the camera people had to be off the clock at My eleven. Thing we was is, done. Uh, you say that shit in the beginning. Fuck that. You you don't. I don't play with people' time and shit. And I felt like my time got played with. Yeah, and just for it to come out like when earlier when Wayne admitted that you know whatever. He said, and, and all those videos got posted and shit, and it's just like, well, damn, that, it, it, you gave the wrong time. Fuck it. Just say it. You know, like, but I, I don't know if it was more of he didn't want to make me upset me, or you made a mistake, or whatever. It's certain things you say so to keep people from not crashing. So I'm, so I'm, I'm going to tell you what was happening on my end, right? Here's what was happening on my end. Um... First of all, the ch the filming of Chasing the Bee that y'all saw on season five was a real life production thing. That that Chasing the Bee season one definitely, my brain want to say it cost over a thousand dollars to produce that first mm -hmm. version of Chasing the Beat y'all saw. Um, that was a real film studio. That was a real film. That was a real film. They was doing me a favor, right? Mm -hmm. To like take out to rent out the whole space to get the cameras. We had two really nice cameras. They had mics. They had a teleprompter. They gave a studio. They gave mm -hmm. us like three dressing rooms. It was the works. They said, Oliver, we're going to do this for you. Y'all got to get in. Y'all got to get out. Right? Yeah. And I want to respect people's time because these are my people. These are these are my Fox Soul people. I didn't, right. I didn't, you know, so I'm putting my name and my, my relationship with them on the line because they like me. They're going to do right. me a favor. So that's why I was real adamant to y'all about this is y'all times. This is this, this is this. Because we also got to film a show while yeah, we're doing this I as well. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So... When it came time for you to come, uh -huh. I was like, where's Kendra? They kept telling me you was 10 minutes away. Then, who was that? Um, I want to say... to Dario. I want to say... It in the car on the phone. And I, I told him, I'm pulling up right now. My, he said, well, Kendra, we're getting ready for your scene. You're getting ready to start. You remember that. So, cool. I get in there. I get dressed immediately. I'm waiting on my scene. And now, but we got time to record a, a scene for the show. And all that or whatever. And then I get there and it, it, it's like, I'm just waiting around. Like, okay, well, maybe did somebody else go? Did yeah, no, 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 I'm going like, to tell okay. you. So what happened was every time, and it was a combination between and Dario and by the time Wayne got there, but I believe, and Dario was talking to Wayne. I don't know, but I know who was telling me your ETA. It was, mm -hmm. it was and Dario and Wayne combination, like back and forth. Now I can't say who was when or whatever. But I was strictly in the studio, and then if I wasn't in the studio, I was in the room trying to do my makeup because I had to film my shit at, at the end of the night. And so um, they kept saying, Kendra's five minutes away. Okay, 30 minutes will pass. Okay, Kendra's 10 minutes away. So I had built it to where the first part of the cast will film all their parts. We would then come together in the middle, film the end scene of us all being together. The camera people would go on break because they got to go on break, and then we would pick up and we would finish the rest of the night. What ended up happening was when Kendra didn't come at her part, I kept moving the schedule up, and the people didn't go on break. So at the point at which once we finally got there, and they was like, "Okay, Oliver, if you want to finish out the night, we got to go on break." I, I know. That. Okay, so by the time they came back from break, this is all. Oh. This is all the time I have now to film. Oh yeah, but if that if if that's how it went, you know that. I, but I, I had communicated that. Yeah. What? Everything that was going on with production, uh -huh. I was communicating that to, to, to my them? bosses. Oh, yes. yes. Production. Girl, I communicate. Oh, yeah, because that was I, communicated I to me, though. No, because I, I, yeah. I was in the, the stage room yeah. directing and making sure but we were getting it, the it shot. Like, even if production knew that all that was happening, you knew I arrived and all this or whatever. When was someone going to say something 
to Kendra. I got my fashion designer out here. I got shit to do the next day. I don't want to spend money and everything. And I get here and, and I've been here for, I can understand the first 15 minutes. You know what I mean? But a couple of hours went by. And it's like, damn, I'm still here or whatever. Then boom, when the camera do come on, we walking into a room and y'all telling me that we're not going to be able to, to do it because I wasn't on time and all this shit or whatever. You know, I'm sometimes I think I'm too real for this shit. Like, and, and it's the truth. Do you know what would have fixed it? Do you what? know, do you know what, what, what honest, what, what honestly would have fixed it that day? Mm -hmm. If, if when Wayne or whoever, whoever spoke to who would have said, this is the that, real time that, that Kendra can that's, arrive. That's it. But that didn't get fixed until, it didn't come out until recently. If season six. Until season six. So it's like, well, damn. Yes. If somebody, but even with you being given the wrong time because of what you, whatever you Wayne, you, everything. whatever what happened between you and Wayne, if somebody would have, because okay. clearly that day he was on your side because he was communicating. Yeah, we was, we was next if somebody would have said, hey, office. if somebody would have said, hey, Oliver, Kendra cannot get here until 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Okay, well, I know to move this, this, this. So that I can make sure we still have time to film her. They kept telling me you was five minutes away, ten minutes away, yeah, twenty even, minutes away, which then ate away at, yeah, at, at the free time that I had. See, somebody put bottom line. Oliver stuck his neck out as far as, 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 as I could. As far as I could. You know what? Hey, that's that's true. That is so true. But at the same time, though, you got somebody that's walking in the situation blind on the other end, right? I don't know Oliver done stuck his damn neck out for me. I don't know that he was saying, uh, I don't know about the, she'll be here in 10 minutes and 10 minutes and all this shit. Yeah, 10 minutes. You get what I'm saying? So, she'll be yeah, here five it, minutes. But That's now that we're going over it, yeah, he stuck his neck out. Yeah, the one that screwed up was the manager. And that's why at the now, reunion on season five. Now, you get what I'm saying? So, and it's okay. Because I've had my situations where I screwed up things too. And it, 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 that's why I said, when, when people are doing things and shit, it's best to just own up to it, whether it's right or wrong. We need a break. I got to pee. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a break. I got to pee too. Go <laughs> y'all, we will be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere. You are in the mix with Twigs, and we got my friend here, Tia Kendra. We getting down into it, baby. We'll be right back after this. Okay.